hello there, stranger. Not a stranger, you're a friend. Why is my bag pumping 20X? I want to know. What's going on here? Paid, friends. P-A-I-D paid his Carl Chassé's coin. Now, it is a launch pad coin. And for some reason, you guys bought it up 20X. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to tell you what's going on. So, friends... If you've been watching my channel, welcome, welcome to you. Take a seat over there, like, subscribe. I've told you about different narratives. One of the narratives that appeared in crypto in the last cycle was launch pads. Launch pads attached themselves to ICOs, and ICOs were from 2017. So cycle one for ICOs was 2017. Everybody made 100x on every single coin in the 2017 year. And then in 2021, ICOs came back, but they had launch pads with them. So launch pads, they basically knew, everybody knew that retailers were aware that launch pads were a way to get money because you get to buy super low, you buy at one cent, and then the thing gets listed at 10 cents, it goes to 20 cents by the end of the month. Nobody knows that you got it at one cent and everybody dumps. Now that game doesn't work when all of retail know they're being grifted. So what launch pads did was they made models and they said, well, if you fulfill a certain requirement, you get to buy the coin. Paid is one of those coins, launch pads, that has a requirement where you've got to buy paid coin, the token. And every thousand coins you get is one ticket. So every time there's an ICO, you get to basically do a spin and maybe you're lucky you'll get one allocation. Now, if you have like 75 tickets, which is 75,000 paid, you end up getting basically a guaranteed one slot. How much is an allocation? Yeah, it used to be like 50 bucks, $100 maximum for one allocation, and you were hoping that it'd do like 100X. Now, I remember one of my coins did a 100X, but I never got out. It was ShopX, I think, because I just thought, oh, I had like one bullet in it. I think like 150 bucks became 15K. You didn't know, friends. I thought it was just getting started. It just launched. So that's how it works, friends. Now, paid, for some reason, you guys... You DJs are back. Well, what's going on? Well, <laughs> I never sold the friends. Paid actually incorporated the Hex staking system. So Kyle also, I know friends, Kyle's a friend of the channel. Kyle, I'll tell you, one day he just, I don't know, he smoked something really heavy. He got some orange juice. He watched all of my chain link videos and then he could see the light. And now he's got like a $1,000 <laughs> chain link target. He, the guy just like clipped uh, $1 million out of nowhere on a Tuesday. Let's just get in. So fascinating, right? Now, also, Kyle, he's interviewed Richard Hart. And he knows about the hex staking system, etc. So what he did was, with paid, he wanted to incentivize people not to dump. So what ended up happening is we all have a staking system in it. But if you want more valuation for your tickets, remember how I told you 1000 Tickets is one one entry, basically. A thousand coins is one ticket. Well, what ends up happening is if you stake it super long and you're locked in, just like the hex staking system, you receive the equivalent of T shares, which is more bonus multipliers that you can participate in ICOs. Now, unfortunately, they launched that system at the tail end of the bull market. And I just did a five year stake. I just said, screw it. All right. Now, <laughs> I'm not joking, friends. Uh, we literally dropped, and I'm not exaggerating, we dropped minus 99.6%. Yes. Minus 99.6%. Now, also, <clears throat> I don't want to name any names, but Kyle, <clears throat> he mentioned in one of his streams, he gave an ICO allocation to, to paid itself. So paid had an ICO. And it was given to, like, insiders and influencers. And one of the trusted influencers who he gave a big, generous donation to, basically, because, he, hey, free, come into my project, just promote it. They sharped it. So you know what this subhuman filth trash did? He just relentlessly dumped the living hell out of this coin. Have a look at this. Just contributed to the dumping. Now, what breaks my heart is Kyle is a very nice man. He's a good man, good-hearted man. And Kyle won't name this person, but and Kyle just like he swept it under the rug. He moved on. But I don't forget, friends. You see me? I'm a predator. I don't forget. These influencers out there, they're scum. Okay, so they betrayed Kyle's trust. But Kyle's such a nice man, a good person. He's not going to name this, this piece of trash. And I'm sure there were more than one of them. So do you see what I mean, friends? I've been telling you, these snakes, they're in the snake pit and they're biting each other. They're all scum. They're all sharking each other. 
All right. So it, it broke my heart because it's Kyle's project to see someone you trust that you give a big amount of coins on every single unlock, just go bang, bang, just, just crush the bids when they told you, yeah, 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 I'm in it for the long run. Yeah, I believe. You got to watch out, friends. You got to watch out who you trust. Now, of course, pay got ravaged. But hey, hey, we're coming back. What's going on here? It's super important to know because it's going to tie into how we can potentially make money in the next bull market. Now, I'm not telling you to do anything. Don't do anything. Go buy bonds. Financial advisor, go seek them. Okay, because I'm not one. I'm literally a dude on the internet wearing fluffy slippers and I just got a haircut. So I'm just telling you, at the end of the day, look, I'm doing launch pads again. Unfortunately, ICOs are now in the third cycle. So I don't know how they're going to structure them, all the new projects, because they're all dumb fests. Uh, in 2017, you were getting 50 to 100x on ICOs. On average, that's average, right? In 2021, it went down to about 10x. Did everybody get out? No, because no one knew it was the top. Everyone thought Bitcoin was going 100k plus. Now when they're in the third cycle curse, oh, that's going to be harsh because now you have a whole group of people who are conditioned. All they want to do is dump. The only reason you do these ICOs is so you can get a lower entry than everybody else and dump. No, it's going to be rough. That doesn't mean every project goes to zero. No, it just means it's harder and harder to get in. So if you'd like to participate, wait for paid. They're going to relaunch their system, upgrade things, January things turn out. Now, obviously, why is a coin rallying? Obviously, someone said something, friends. As I told you, someone said something. I'm still staked four years. I can't actually exit, okay? Um, I have to pay a big like 50% penalty, but I think you earn rewards along the way, so I could exit, but it's not worth it, friends. Like, I could dump that money and and buy Pulse or Pulse X, but I, I'm just going to leave it. Just because, like, I don't know what ICOs are coming next year. Like, if you DGENs want to come and buy absolute trash, filthy crypto gaming coins and all these other garbage, which has absolutely no long-term use case or viability, if you want to come participate in the projects and give these teams and founders excitement so that they can launch ICOs and, and buy my coins on the open, then be it. I'm not, I'm not stopping you, okay? But I'm just telling you, I'm not buying anything on any open. I'm only do it through my one lottery tickets on paid, I'm doing it, okay? So obviously I, I don't speak to Kyle. I'm not uh, promoting anything, anyone. I don't know, friends, everything can go to zero. I don't even know, it could be just an exit scam. Maybe no one knows, friends. I'm just, I'm just so skeptical. Everything goes to zero. Is this, an, are we getting an exit scam? I don't know, but I'm just telling you, this is what happened, okay? I don't know if Launchpad's gonna make a good comeback. Please don't waste all your time in them. I do believe in Kyle now. What happened was I ended up finding out what happened now. Swedish cork, Swedish cork also, Funny thing about Swedish cork. Swedish cork, I feel sorry for him. Why? Because, um, friends, you want to listen? You want to learn? You wanna, let's laugh together. Swedish cork, uh, anti hex, anti Richard Hart, anti pulse chain. But because <laughs> we made so much noise in the pulse chain launch, he bought. Now he's like absolutely wrecked like the rest of us. <laughs> I hope you're still in, sir. I hope you're still in. I salute you. Yeah, you know, this prices go up and down. You got to tough it out. Hope you don't sell like all the other, like all the other soy boy cucks. Don't worry, we'll make it, friends. It's, just, it's, just, it's, it's a funny story, isn't it? Like, it's just this how the game works, friends. It's how the game works. All right, so Swedish Cork has let me know. Kyle has stepped up his game. So I asked him, why did we pump? Why? I, friends, I did the whole retailer thing. I went into the Telegram and I go, that's it. Everybody stop what you're doing. Who bought my bags up 20x? And why did you do it in 24 hours? So Swedish Cork says, Kyle stepped up his game. Crypto banter ran, mentioned paid on his show. And then Alex Becker tweeted. All right. So, ooh, what's going on here? A bit of the uh, the pumping and the dumping, right? So, yes, it's true, friends. Actually, I ended up finding out it's actually true, right? So Kyle dropped the hint somewhere. I used to have time to follow all these friends, but I just don't now because who cares, man? You just buy low, sell high, right? And Alex Becker is apparently an advisor. He is an advisor to paid. So things are happening. What does it mean? I don't really know, right? They just mentioned paid. I don't know, man. It's up 20X. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I'm just telling you, don't. It's literally up 20X, man. All right? I buy in the depression. Now, I wish, I wish, I wish I bought paid. The thing is, man, it's just, I just had no idea, man. We had no idea. Was Kyle going to keep revamp everything? See, friends, it's 10,000 coins, man. It's 10,000 coins. So you just don't know, all right? 
But what's going on with crypto? Well, Alex Becker's wallet, I found out, it's actually been leaked. Now, I don't have the one address. I don't know if it's many, but there's there are crypto, there are people who are making money off subscriptions to have his address. They found out his address is where it comes from and they're making money. People sign up and they buy as soon as Alex Becker buys. But here's the thing, let me tell you right now. If this little peanut brain is telling you my baby doll pumpkin cutie pies about Alex Becker's wallet, well, guess what? The secret's out and, I'm, and everyone's posting about it, all right? So I, I'm trying to get you to learn, friends. Whenever you get a, come across information, stop thinking, I'm early, I'm early, I'm early. That shouldn't be your default. Your default should be, hmm, someone's trying to scam me here, okay? In markets, there's a very old famous saying. They say only the paranoid survive, all right? The paranoid, right? They're the people who actually make it to the very end. They're like, oh, really? The world's going to end? Oh, man, whatever it doesn't, okay? Oh, the world's going to change and we're going to, you know, get a GDP increase of 300% next year? Oh, I don't really know. You know, those people, okay? But you can't be bearish. You've got to be cautiously bullish like the whole time, which just means you have a long-term view. I love and appreciate you. Did I mention that? So the secret of Alex Becker wallet is out. They follow his wallet, they buy whatever coin. Now, this is funny. Somebody sent, he sent, some dude, genius, right? A genius sent $47 of a poop coin to Alex Becker's wallet. And then that coin pumped because he knows all these other DGENs are watching the wallet. This dude sends the wallet. And obviously everyone, no one really checks, right? No one knew it was game. They go, oh my God, he got sent this coin quickly. Let's go buy. They bought as exit liquidity for that person who tricked them, right? So you want to play this game, friends? It's a dirty, dirty game. I'm telling you right now. This is a peppy chopping up. I don't know what's, but now you get the point. Of course, of course. So how do we make money? Well, this is actually going to this is gonna surprise you. Grand Theft Auto 6 is coming out. And like on one hand, I want to tell you crypto gaming is trash. The games aren't really that fun. They don't have a life cycle of like six hours and then people move on. I want to tell you that. But on the other hand, after seeing the absolute degeneracy of Pepe buyers, JPEG buyers, and just a lunatic, like Luna UST buying and just people buying absolute, like just FTT, Celsius, right? Hopefully Hex is next. All these like ridiculous things that people say, I figured it out. I thought, well, what are the mid curvers going to do? The mid curvers are going to go get their nerd calculator with the pen in their front pocket and their checkered shirts. And they're going to say, oh, golly gee, did you see the uh, the price to earnings ratio of this balance sheet for this DeFi project on Arbitrum? That's what they're going to be doing. And it's probably going to work for like 60%. But what we're going to do is, this is, this is, this is true fence. You go to Grand Theft Auto 6 when it comes out, you play the game and you try to figure out the main character's name. Okay. And then we just go to deck screener and someone's going to make a coin with the main character's name. And then we just buy it. Okay. It's stupid. It's irrational. It makes no sense. But you have seen enough of the game now. Stupid things that make no sense is the exact approach we need for the bull market. Now, it's funny because most people who doubt such a peanut brain strategy like this, they're the people who've been selling on a 2X where every time they get into some coin in 2023, thinking like, oh, this is it. Oh, golly gee. And they're buying the top of all the other trash influencers who are just farming engagement to use them as food for the ultimate bull market. Now, of course, that strategy, friends, don't do it. It's, I, just, I just made it up. But I'm just telling you, that's the type of mindset you need to front run retail, the emotional money. The people don't think twice. Okay. That's top. Now, who won in 2023? It was the person who literally watches Elon Musk like a hawk. Every time Elon tweets or says a word, they go look for the coin, right? That Grok coin went to like 150 million market cap. Ridiculous, man. I had a friend who saw it at 1 million and he actually told me, he said, if he got in at one, he would have sold at 5 million because these meme coins, you never know. And this thing went to 150 million. So the, the silly, the more irrational, that's how things go. Now, I am just, I'm going to participate in Launchpad ICOs with paid. This is side hustle, friends. This is not core coins. And guess what? I'll tell you right now. Let's say I get a coin and it's up like 10x. Wow. What I'm going to do is I'm literally, given these prices today, 
I will literally dump that first unlock allocation straight to Pulse and Pulse X. No questions asked. That's it. You want to meet 10X? See you later. In. Okay. So I'm just letting you know that's what I'll be doing. Okay. And, and like it's not the end of the world, friends. Like every every guaranteed ticket you win, they only give you like a hundred bucks, fifty bucks. Right. If you win five tickets, it's five hundred. Guess what? I'm out. Oh man, I'm fancy. Do you know what happened to ICOs at the end? Oh my god, they started losing. Literally, they were giving you the rock bottom price entry. Okay, and we still went offside. That, that's how little buying. There was no buying, literally no buying that bear market. Just people taking big losses. They were just like, ah, I'm taking 50% out. I want out, right? Because people were just getting liquidated left and right. It was it was brutal. But hopefully now Bitcoin halvening year comes on, comes around the corner now, and we get to change how the game thinks. Now, Grand Theft Auto 6, very important. Why? It's going to usher in just something new into your brain. You're going to see, friends. By the way, why do I like my own stuff, friends? It's so I know I've gone through it. That's all, all right? A lot of people are like, oh, I get so tilted when you like it and stuff, like, it's so I can track that we've covered it before. It's nothing special. All right, now, with Grand Theft Auto 6, I, I know, friends, it's funny. Man, th think about this, okay? I think they spent $400 million on Grand Theft Auto 5 to make. What if they spent a billion dollars on this game? Like, just think, of, think about it. It's like an altcoin sector, right? Gaming 2024. You, you think about it like that. So... It's its own sector. So 2024 is going to come, Bitcoin halvening year. You may as well just make that a sector. 2024 gaming, right? And why that's important is because if you participate in anything, a series of games, any of the, I don't, uh, friends, I don't know any of the coins or where to go. We're probably going to get grifted hard once again. But if we're lucky to get something, you got to remember the category I'm naming them is 2024 gaming, all right? Why do I put that? It's so you know 2025 doesn't exist in their world. It's really short term. And all gains you make in them, you got to rotate out into the core, even if they keep going up. All right. So we're just preparing mentally for this trash. I don't have high hopes because I know gaming itself as well is cycle two as well. Now, cycle two is better than cycle three, but cycle two, gaming, yeah, there were some 100Xs and 50X winners from last cycle. You're going to get 10X this one. That's just what happens. It just it diminishes really hard. But hey, this is the thing. At least you know where to look. All right. You might be wondering now, what's a cycle one narrative? What's a new narrative? No one knows. Okay, so yes, you, if you ask that question, congratulations, they're the right questions to ask. I ask that every day. I wake up, sniff my chair and ask that question. No one knows. What's a new cycle one narrative? Golly gee, you know, oh, social finance was one, friend tech, but where are the coins? Okay, we're still waiting for an airdrop. Maybe, do you see how risky it is? You have no idea. Are they ever gonna turn up? Are they gonna keep growing? Did it disappear? Oh, what's happening, right? So I still participate in my friend tech every day. I still answer questions, talk to everybody there. Right, cheap, cheap, I've got my own little baby, my own little baby cult in there. But when it comes to looking at it, these other cycle one narratives, like you're just, you're guessing. People spend a lot of time, analytics, trying to say, oh, this is going to be a new cycle one narrative, real world assets and all these other things. The truth is retail are very emotional and reflexive and they won't pick everything. And whatever they do pick, You'll be very surprised. You'll be very also disappointed by <laughs> the standards of which they pick. For example, everybody was looking at token securitization in 2020 and DeFi evolving. Where did retail go? Doge, SHIB, dog coins, absolute garbage, monkey JPEGs. Do you see, see what I mean? It was so left field and it had nothing to do with what everybody was thinking that it caught everybody out by surprise. So we keep an open mind, open heart. Whatever the emotional money in the retails, whatever you guys want to degen and buy next year, just let me know, friends. I know we're gonna I hope we're gonna we're gonna experience at least a longer duration than like 24 hours for a life cycle for these coins. Because, man, we tried in 2023, just kept getting dusted. But we knew it's not Bitcoin halvening. For some reason, Bitcoin halvening year appears, and that's it. Coins don't have a 24-hour cycle anymore. It's like one to two months eventually, okay? So we'll take it as it comes. Make sure you like, subscribe. Don't forget who loves you. I do. Catch you soon.